Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. Let us see the last part of the solution to the model question paper microcontroller. The fourth module question explain the structure of interrupt priority and interrupt enable register. Here two registers are asked related to interrupt. This interrupt priority register contain 8 bits. These 8 bits are corresponds to setting or um, resetting the priorities. So you can see over here PX0 corresponds to external interrupt 0 priority bit and similarly PT not with respect to timer 0 interrupt priority bit. Similarly we have 6 bits. Other 2 bits are reserved. It is not used over here. It will be for the future use. And similarly the next one is interrupt enable register. Here also EX0 to ET2 corresponds to enable or disable that particular interrupt and EA is very important here. EA is enable all. It must be set to 1 in order for rest of the register to take effect. So this is EA indicating enable all. Then comes analyze interrupt control used in 8051 question. So, so this question asked to explain or analyze interrupt control used in 8051. How actually the controlling of the interrupts will be happen in 8051. So this is the answer which I am put over here. Please cross check this answer once. Why? Because Analyze interrupt control in the sense this is a general question you need to answer in which are all the different types of interrupts there and how actually those interrupts are going to be handled through uh, interrupt service routine and what happens when the interrupt uh, is activated. So that is what which I have given over here. This is related to the interrupt service routine and these are the different types of interrupts we can enable and disable and this is the steps followed once the interrupt is activated. Please cross check this answer once. If you have a better answer, please comment below or if this answer is correct, also please indicate in the comment section. Explain how multiple interrupts are handled in 8051 microcontroller. So if multiple interrupt occurs that need to be handled carefully one after the other. So to handle that microcontroller having a facility called priorities. So the priorities are assigned according to the sequence given in the table. So this is the table indicating the priorities uh, which is highest priority for the external interrupt 0 and lowest priority for the serial communication like that. So external interrupt 0 and then timer interrupt 0 will be the highest priorities and then external interrupt 1 then timer interrupt 1 and then serial communication. So these are the interrupt priorities highest to low it is mentioned over here. So this is the uh, way the multiple interrupts are going to be handled in 8051 microcontroller. Then list the steps involved in executing an interrupt. Once the interrupt is activated, this microcontroller 8051 will follow certain steps in its execution. While it is executing certain instructions in a main code, it will be having the next instruction of that main memory in a main code in program controller. So first program controller next instruction address need to be kept carefully into a stack that is the first step and then it will come to the interrupt and uh, it will uh, serve the interrupt according to the interrupt and again it will go back to the program counter address and it will carry the instructions. So this is the these are the steps microcontroller follow you need to go through this and you need to explain neatly step wise for this 8 marks. Then explain interrupt vector table for 8051 microcontroller. Interrupt vector table is shown over here you can see these are the different interrupts and then you have the addresses corresponds to that and the pin locations for the external hardware interrupts pin 3.2 and pin 3.3 uh, corresponds to external hardware uh, through INT0 and INT1 and these are the RAM address locations. So interrupt vector table is uh, it is a data structure that links a list of interrupt requests with a list of interrupt handlers in a table of vectors. So that is what interrupt vector table is. You need to explain how actually that works and what are all the addresses and the different interrupts and also the pins related to the external interrupts. The next question is on explain the steps involved in programming serial communication interrupts. So initialization of serial communication interrupts. So configure the serial port. Uh, control register that is SCON to set mode of operation and then enable interrupts and then write interrupt service routine 
and then the main program loop will be started. So these are the basic steps involved in programming the serial communication interrupt. Then from module 5, we have a programming question, write within a diagram, write an assembly language program to interface stepper motor to AD51 microcontroller. You can see the diagram here. This is the unipolar stepper motor and it need to be interfaced with a driver ULN2003 and these are the ports need to be used. And this is the program you can see for the interfacing of stepper motor to the microcontroller. You can go through this. And then we have another question, explain the interfacing of DC motor using C programming. Here the C program is asked to interface a DC motor. Here also DC motor need to be connected through this motor driver to the microcontroller. These are the ports and the connections you can see. And this is the C program, go through this, anyhow comments are given here in detail for the understanding purpose. And then the next 10th A question. With need diagram, write an assembly language program to interface LCD to AD51 microcontroller. So here X16 cross to LCD is uh, shown in the diagram. These are the port connections for the AD51 microcontroller. And uh, here is the assembly language uh, program. It requires command subroutine, data subroutine as well as delay subroutine over here. And this is the code for the interfacing of LCD 16 cross 2 with AD51 microcontroller. Then the last question is explain DAC interface with diagram and also write a program to generate staircase waveform. So this is the diagram again for the interfacing of DAC to generate the staircase waveform. And here is the code to generate, here is the program to generate 5 step staircase waveform. Here the accumulator can have maximum value of 255 to get 5 steps. So this is shown for the 5 step staircase waveform. If you want uh, more steps are if you want different steps accordingly you need to give the value for the accumulator this is about the answers for the model question paper of 8051 microcontroller subject thank you